Welcome, it's currently Sunday, the 20th of November. It's around 8.23 p.m. here. And let's check out the markets, see how things stand right now, kind of get through a market report here and uh, see what has happened, see what is likely coming next and uh, get through it as usual. So let's start on Bitcoin daily time frame, which uh, I really don't have much of an update here for Bitcoin. Nothing has really changed since the last market report. Um, essentially, it's still extended to the downside. Um, this whole trading range I talked about getting in at discounts, shorting it, um, and looking for a continuation move to the downside, which we did get um, in this last week. So right now, the, it's just going to be a waiting game. This needs to have a larger pullback before there's any sort of opportunity, at least in my eyes, um, to join into the downtrend. Right now, it's just too extended to the downside, and I wouldn't be looking for a fresh uh, short position on this one um, as it's already made its move. The time to get in has passed, um, but if it does have a larger pullback, maybe up into the rejection zone indicator area around here, um, with a full reset on stochastic RSI, you know, that could be an opportunity to potentially join in. But right now, just nothing to do here um, for the daily time frame. If we look at the hourly, um, trading under the 200 EMA right now, but it's essentially just been going straight sideways. So I just don't have a lot of confidence um, in the direction that we'll see in the very short term. Um, it is extended to the downside right now so potentially we'll see this pull back and maybe on a lower time frame we'll see an opportunity to get in at a discounted price but at this very moment it's extended to the downside still so i would not be looking to get into this as far as shorting it um, right at this moment uh, but maybe we get a full reset this comes up we get some uh, regular bearish divergence on the stochastic rsi it's under the 200 ema still uh, maybe then there's an opportunity, but right now there's just nothing to do um, on both the daily and the hourly for Bitcoin. Um, but expectation for me is a continuation down. So still looking for this to create a lower high and then a new lower low as the most likely scenario. And as always, what I've been saying is I'll switch my trend bias when we see this trend change. So, you know, if we see this break over this previous peak here, um, and at that point, it's over the 200 EMA, consolidates, comes up, you know, we see it consolidate over the 200 EMA, then I'll flip my bias, then we'll start looking for a longer term uptrend. But right now, it's just not that time. So just going to be waiting on this one um, to see how things play out. Now let's move on to our S&P 500 where this is pulled back right now and it's at a discount as far as a downtrend is concerned. So um, from a shorting perspective, uh, this is pretty attractive. So looking at this to head to the downside from here and make a lower high and lower low. So the previous uh, lower high would be this one. Um, so I'd be looking for it to make a lower high compared to back here. Um, and then head to the downside for a new low. Um, right now, trading at a pretty good discount, so would definitely be a good opportunity to be getting into this and looking for a continuation move to the downside, in my opinion. Um, as far as switching the trend bias goes, we see it break structure, so taking out this high right here and consolidating over the 200 EMA, you know, then we flip, you know, looking for that bullish um, trend reversal. But right now, still trading at an area where I would be looking for this dead to the downside. And, you know, it's at a discounted price from a shorting perspective. Now, on a lower time frame, we do have an uptrend. So um, right at this moment, it's currently a little bit extended to the upside. It's outside of the rejection zone indicator. Um, but, you know, we do also see that the stochastic R size come all the way into the overbought territory. Um, maybe if this comes down for another low. So maybe pulls back something like this. Maybe that is the opportunity to look for another move to the upside out of there. Okay, so right now nothing to do. But if this does happen, there's potential there. Um, so that's what I'll be looking out for on the low time frame for the S&P 500. Now let's move on to our dollar currency index where it has pulled back sharply now right into the 200 EMA, bouncing off of it currently. Um, and 
expectation still is continuation of this overall uptrend this hasn't tested the 200 ema since way back here so i would expect somewhat of a bounce um, if this is not a full-on trend reversal um you know then you know looking for this head to the upside out of here um, and make a new higher high so that's what i'll still be looking for as things stand right now with this bouncing off the 200 ema here um, if this does come under and then gives us more of a consolidation type pullback, then I'll be looking for a full or larger trend reversal, at least to the downside. Um, and which would be good for some other you know, stocks. Bitcoin um, typically do perform better when the dollar currency index is not performing well. So um, we'll see how this plays out. But right now, my main expectation is still trend continuation to the upside. Um, and it is trading at a good discount right now. So definitely wouldn't blame anyone to get in on this and look for an upside continuation with a good risk to reward ratio here. But again, I already said it, this comes under and gives us somewhat of a consolidation under the 200 EMA, um, you know, then we may have a larger trend reversal of this long uptrend that we've had here. So um, be watching out for that. But right now, still bullish trend, still looking for this to head to the upside. Um, if we go to the hourly, this is where we are in a downtrend and had a few pullbacks along the way here. Um, right now in a, you know, kind of area where it would be looking for a continuation move to the downside, or at least typically um, with a pullback like this, um, it wouldn't be uncommon to have a good risk to reward ratio here and look for a move to the downside to create a new lower low um, here in this overall hourly downtrend. Um, if it comes over the 200 EMA, starts consolidating, you know, then the trend bias changes, but right now the bias is still to the downside and has been for um, a while now here on the hourly time frame. So still going to be looking for this to head to the downside it's at a discounted price currently. So not a bad risk to reward ratio um, from a shorter's perspective here. So that's what I will be looking. Um, definitely would not be um, unexpected to maybe take out this high right here, just stop some people out. Um, and then continue down, um, that I would not surprise me whatsoever. So that's what I'll be looking out for for the dollar currency index um, on the hourly time frame. Let's look at Euro now, where we also have a steep pullback, right? Touched in the 200 EMA here for the first time in quite some time. So all the way back here, the last time it touched it. Um, and right now, this is also at a discount. This is a discount within an overall longer term downtrend. Um, this is a larger pullback than what we've seen. So maybe we are seeing shifts in trends right now. Um, and there's no real confirmations yet, though. So um, still looking for continuation moves to the downside here. And you guys already know, I've said it many times, what will change my bias as far as the trend direction goes, but still looking for this to head to the downside, make a new lower low. Um, and it is trading at a discounted price right now from a shorting perspective. So I will be looking for this to head to the downside. If we go to the hourly though, this is of course in an uptrend. If we have a quite a steep pullback on the uh, daily. So this has been in a pretty strong uptrend here on the hourly time frame, um, And it is at a discounted price from the hourly time frame frame perspective in an uptrend um, looking for this to head to the upside out of here um, is the most likely scenario for me um, would not be surprised to see this come down a bit more um, maybe you know sweep some lows over here over here um, take out some stops and then head to the upside so that's what i'll be expecting for the hourly trend um, looking for more bullish continuation on the hourly um, so let's move on now to our next pair uh, Australian dollar against Canadian dollar, also in a pullback within the context of an overall downtrend, quite a long term down downtrend here, a steeper pullback. Um, and this one coming over the 200 EMA a bit, we got the double peak short signal here. So it's had a good place to, you know, be getting into a short position, in my opinion. Um, and what I would want to see is it not take out this previous lower high right here. So holding under the 200 EMA ideally and also not taking out this high or this previous lower high in this overall downtrend. 
that's what I'll be looking for. Continuation to the downside. Um, if it does come up, taking out this previous lower high and then consolidating over the 200 EMA, again, flipping my bias for the trend. So potentially we see some major trend changes, but for the time being, we just don't have that in those ingredients yet. Okay. Now for this hourly time frame trend, we have an uptrend. Um, got a double peak short right at the bottom here, a couple over here in this consolidation that did not pan out. Um, and right now it is somewhat pulled back, but really the discount was down here. Um, maybe if this pulls back some more, there's potential to get in and look for a continuation move to the upside. So we see this coming back a little bit more. You know, maybe that is an opportunity to look for this to head to the upside out of there. Um, Kind of looking at this whole thing here as a consolidation so let me just um, kind of show what i mean so i'm kind of looking at this as an overall consolidation within the context of an hourly uptrend um, so i wouldn't be surprised if we see this come down here and then head to the upside out of there um, so we'll see how it plays out but that's what i'm thinking right now for the hourly trend to move on to our British pound against the Japanese yen, um, where we actually see this now pulled back quite a bit, but starting to extend to the upside, got the double peak long signal at a discounted price. So that there was potential there to get in um, if this comes down again. So something like this, if we see this pull back again, maybe it'll bounce off the 200 EMA, something along those lines. Um, that could be a good discounted entry right there um, to look for an upside continuation. I've been talking about this huge consolidation for a long time and have been expecting that this does head to the upside out of here. We just don't have that full follow through yet, but um, that's still what I'll be expecting. I'm still looking for a larger upside move out of here for British pound against the Japanese yen. So. Um, if this can give us a little bit more of a pullback, um, if you're not already in a position from down here in this area, um, hopefully, you know, this pulls back a little bit more than can get in to this uptrend um, and look for that continuation move. So that's what I'm thinking for the daily on British pound against the Japanese yen. Hourly time frame here, um, just coming over the 200 EMA, so potentially still moving higher, um, although right now it's it is consolidating straight to the side just going to the side um over the 200 ema which is normally bullish so potentially looking for this to head to the upside that's the most likely scenario i see um with the way that it's set up right now um but we do have to kind of if we zoom out a little bit we can kind of see um lower highs and lower lows so you know what i'm talking about here this one we have the peak all the way up here lower high, potentially putting in another lower high right here um, and then heading to the downside. But um, for the short term, so just this hourly trend, still we'll be looking for this to head to the upside um, out of here for a new higher high. Um, so taking out the high right here. But, uh, you know, just because this short hourly trend may be bullish, it doesn't mean that the daily trend is also bullish, but for this case, it actually is. We have a bullish uptrend on uh, both the daily and the hourly, so um, would not be surprised to see this, you know, continue to the upside out of here on the hourly time frame. Um, so that's what I'm thinking for British pound against the Japanese yen. Now let's look at New Zealand dollar, Swiss franc, and this one also pulled back. So give us a couple of these double peak short signals along the way. Um, and it's also trading at a discount currently. So from a risk to reward ratio perspective, you know, this is a decent opportunity. Um, although we do have the stochastic RSI already pushed all the way down here. So ideally it would be up in the overbought territory or higher. Um, if we see this come up here, for me, that would be a fantastic entry um, to look for a continuation move to the downside. Really just looking for it to continue this overall downtrend, holding this previous lower high. So don't want to see it come over this previous lower high in this downtrend. Don't want to see it come over the 200 EMA or at least not stay over it for very long. If it projected off of it, that would be great. 
Um, don't want to see it come over and consolidate or then we're flipping that trend bias um, to an uptrend. But right now it's in the context of an overall downtrend at a discounted price. So I'll be looking for this to head to the downside, take out the lows down here eventually. Now let's go to our hourly time frame. So hourly, of course, will be in an uptrend. So we have quite a large pullback on the daily time frame and it is a little bit extended right now, but we do have the reset on stochastic RSI. Um, I would not be surprised at all to see this come down and make another low and then head to the upside out of there. So that's what I'll be looking for. Looking for this to pull back maybe a little bit more and then head to the upside, create a higher low and a higher high. So taking out this high um, to make a higher high once this consolidation here has completed. All right, so that's what I'll be looking for. Let's move on to our next and final pair. And this is just gold against the US dollar. So what is gold doing? Well, it's now pulled back quite deeply. Um, and it did come over the 200 EMA, but now it's coming back below. So it's not giving us a lot of clarity. We didn't see a strong move over and then a nice consolidation over the 200 EMA, which would help me um, you know, flip my trend bias. Um, we also don't see it taking out this previous major lower high um, in this overall downtrend. So right now, still leaning on the bearish side, looking for this to head down and take out the lows um, all the way down here. That's what I'm looking for at this moment. Um, but again, you guys know the ingredients that I'm looking for to kind of flip my trend bias. And um, right now we're seeing a lot of steep pullbacks and a bit of behavior change across the market. So maybe we're going into some ranging phases, maybe some trend reversals, but for now, still sticking with the main trends um, and not switching up until I really get what I need to see. So still just looking for these trend continuation moves across these pairs. Um, if we're looking at the hourly time frame, it is actually trading at a discount on the hourly. We saw a lot of strong moves up um, on this hourly trend. It's right into the rejection zone indicator, got double peak long entries, all successful ones. Um, and this time we're in a bit of a deeper pullback. So um, it's giving us a double peak long entry right at this moment. Um, and so my expectation continuation of this uptrend as long as it holds over the 200 EMA, but if it comes under the 200 EMA pulls back consolidates like this, then I'll be looking for that move to the downside at the moment. It's trading at a discount in the context of an overall uptrend still over the 200 EMA. So going to be looking for this to head to the upside out of here. It's the best risk to reward ratio that we have as a trader um, in the context of this uptrend getting an eddy discount and looking for that move for a higher low and a higher high. So looking to take out the highs here on the hourly trend. All right. So that's the analysis. That's the market report for today. And I'll update it again within the next week or so and uh, see how things have progressed. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.